unusual given it's winter. You think you'd want a bit of growth up there with the, the colder weather. <laughs> so how's to bring it back into play for the Demons? Go straight down the middle, through the corridor, looking for Shacky. Rusco tags him. Couldn't quite take it. They love this transition through the corridor here, the Demons. Gray with a hand pass. Well done from Laurie. Now a chance for Jefferson. Unguarded square. Dribble kick through the middle. Casey have first blood through Jefferson. Great play linking up through the middle. Bailey Laurie who's very lively in the front half for Casey. Flicked over the top to Laurie. Good player, Bailey Laurie. Now they're out the back. They've got plenty of space here to run. Valentine can cross 50, can take a bounce. Steady, had an option in the goal square. Blazed away and missed. And Melksham had every right to feel aggrieved. He was about 30 metres in the clear. Laurie keeps it in play in a confined space. Wrapped it up. That was almost a throw. Not called by the umpire. Howes with the hand pass. Now a chance for Neocleus. Centering kick into the goal square. And the mark has been taken. Just floating in from the side by Jefferson who could line up from probably 15 metres out directly in front for his second major of the day. And that was Howell's seventh possession in that passage of play. He's been prolific. Steele has five as well for the Demons. Well, the umpire was blindsided because that was a fair Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. We had a good view of it here. So, Jefferson for his second of the quarter. Point blank range. Made the goal umpire work, but he slots it. And Casey have their second. 2-2-14. A settler. Haven't had all that many entries. Flynn receives the pass on the way through. Marks in front of Siston. Flynn had a couple of touches in that previous passage of play. 11-5, the inside 50s. Kick straight in the man on the mark. Ricochets to the Oakleyus. Outside of the boot. Swinging, swinging, swinging. Goal! Well done, the Oakleyus. Great opportunistic play, took the ricochet and kicked probably the goal of the day so far. It's a little bit of a breeze out there, Dash. Mm. Not overly significant, but it can wreak havoc, particularly it as can. the afternoon progresses. It can. It, it can be pretty strong here, although this is a, a pleasant day for early winter. Collingwood with a badly needed clearance. Left foot floating, kick forward. Baldy stretches low to the ground and takes the mark below his knees. Got some options there on the wing, goes through the hands of Shackey. Monas Wakefield's there, goes back to Shackey, feeds it to Laurie. Laurie will chip it over the top to Munro, doesn't take the mark. Got time to run onto it, breaks the tackle, keeps his feet, gets the hand pass out again. White round the body on the left, lovely goal. Well done by Munro, keeping it in front of himself and White with a superb finish. Rowan Steele with eight touches, leading possession winner on the ground. Munro's been excellent though with seven as you said. Shackey palms it down. Tries to extract it out of the scrimmage there. You can see Steele certainly inserting his imprimatur with a tackle. And we'll have a secondary ball up in the middle. We will head around the grounds in a moment as well. Just check out what's happening at some of the other venues. Big day in the Smithies VFL too, because there's no AFL game until 3.20 this afternoon Eastern time between North Melbourne and the Giants in the AFL. So a good chance to keep in touch with what's happening at state league level. Kick from White on the left foot. They've been very industrious through the corridor so far, Casey. Spearing kick from the Oakleyus. Will it ricochet towards Beniz Wakefield? Takes a step back, snap around the body. It's high. Is it handsome? Yes, it is. Beniz Wakefield, a crafty goal, and Casey continue on their merry way. And they get a clean ball here. There's a lot of numbers around, so hard to find some space. Steen... Almost held there. It's kicked very high in the air. Still inside 50. Waiting underneath it. Bianco takes the mark. He got the drift. A bit like an outfield catch. But again, <laughs> we're in that range where the man on the mark just inside 50. Kicks have been holding up down that end. So it's an indication that Casey, who did win the toss, obviously, kicking to the scoring end. Well, that's something to consider as well. Yeah. So Bianco, he'll have to kick this about 51. Again, runs out to the right to give himself some room. That'll be set up to the top of the square again. So they are holding up. Ball hits the deck, front and centre, and they bounce it through Tarja, I think it was, for the goal. Or was it Longmire? Unusually, ends up setting it up to the top of the square. Clever kick, and he finds Seston, who takes the uncontested mark. And it took a screamer. Last week against the Northern Bull Ants. Can he kick the Magpie second here? Directly in front, 30 metres out. Steen delivers for the Maggies. And the margin now back to 21 points. 65 metres out from goal. Congested forward line for Bianco to work with. Chips it inside, 50. And Kruger takes the mark, riding the pressure from behind. 
did well to hold it, and he could line up from 45 out, almost directly in front. Nathan Kruger, gettable opportunity, 45 metres out. This for the Pies, third in a row, and he duly delivers the big man. <laughs> Kruger kicks his first, Collingwood have their third, and that margin all of a sudden whittled back to 16 points. Now Longmire <laughs> tries to feed it down by hand. Long floating kick out of there by Shepard. Climbing high, big. If you don't mind, had the stepladder. He need his teammate right in the back who gets up very gingerly in Kruger. Well, it's extracted out of there well by Draper. Left foot kick towards centre half forward. In from the side. Chance here. Effectively for Burley. Into the pocket. Kruger. Oh, out the back. Just looming around. Unimpeded in the end. Deep in that forward pocket. It really looked like it was sort of half a shot, half a kick to the lead. Jed Longmire, deep in the pocket. He's on the scoreboard already, and he adds to his tally with a lovely shot. And Collingwood, back to within nine points. So White into the centre bounce here. Shacky also to take this contest against Begg, who took the mark of the day so far a moment ago. Can they creep? A little bit closer again, the Magpies. Long kick forward. Steen's floating forward. He gets over the back. Kruger, can he get boot to ball? He can. And he goals. <laughs> Second of the quarter to Kruger. And Collingwood may even lead at half time. They get within three points now at the 22-minute mark of the second term. Casey with the first five goals of the game. Luke Dunstan here. The former Saint turned demon. First round draft pick. Many, many moons ago, left foot kick. Searching for Valentine at the back. Front and centre there from Begg. The two Ruckman combined. Steen goes on the outside of the right boot. All ricochets away. Trapped in there by Carmichael. Brought to ground in the tackle and the ball will be bounced just inside 50 for the Magpies. Yes, who affected the tackle? James Munro. Yet another for him. He's been sensational. That's number seven. He has been absolutely brilliant in that department today. Big decisively wins the tap. Wilson breaks clear. Left foot kick by Wilson as a goal. And Collingwood hit the front. Would you believe it? Bouncing football. Taken there with the don't argue effectively. As 49 has been put onto the field. So we might have to get number change there. In the meantime, Kruger tried to affect the smother. Clearing kick is going to be intercepted by Kelly. He's taken the mark just outside the 50. Could well be Carmichael now in the 49 yeah. Guernsey because he came off with the blood rule. So just for the viewers out there. Good spot. He was 45 and normally is 45. He's now wearing the 49 Guernsey. In the meantime, Will Kelly affecting the intercept mark. Could line up from 52 metres out. Acute angle to contend with. Kelly starts at left. It swings back. It swings back. Unbelievable swing from Will Kelly. Well, that answers a bit of a question because he's kicked that from 51. And it's a spacious forward line here. There's no one inside 450. Jefferson tracks back. Melcham goes in his direction. Jefferson one on two. Can he take the mark? Yes, he Great. can. Great body work from Matt Jefferson. And he can line up for goal number three. That coast-to-coast -coast transition working well again for the Demons. Jefferson for goal number three. Crucial kick. 42 metres out. He kicks truly. Casey, rest momentum back at the margin, is back to three points. Took it in strong hands, in no hurry, gets it back towards Rusco, cuts around, <laughs> Allentine bounce almost got away from him. In the end, he sends it long in the Kruger direction again, and he marks. In the immediate reply, he'll kick from 35 metres out, slight angle, left footer, has snuck it in. <laughs> Off the boot, it looked like it was going to head left, but... Held its line, and Collingwood answer. 8-3, 51-6, 642, three goals to Nathan Kruger. The Kerner hands as Carmichael back out on the ground wearing the number 49 now. Kruger for goal number four. Has struck that pretty well, oh. and I reckon it's just faded back. It looked like it was going to miss to the right, but just had the draw. Shades of what we saw from Kelly at the start of the quarter on this side of the ground. Taken there by Peter. Snaps it high around the body, close to the boundary line. Lands on it, spiked forward there nicely by Dunstan. Collingwood win it back. They'll float it into the pocket. Kruger again. Tough kick, left footer, hard up against the boundary line. Wrong side for that left foot. Spears it home. What a great finish.
And that's the difference at the moment. Whilst it is labour intensive at one end for Casey. It's been a contrasting situation. First half was very fluent between both sides, but goals have been at a premium more so in the second half. Laurie in a bear hug with Begg. We'll have another ball up at the middle. It's quite amazing is how the complexion changes. I think that comes down to momentum, doesn't it? Absolutely. It just appears that Collingwood have just simply been stronger since quarter time. Big one, the tap. Casey have possession, though. Shepard rockets the ball out to Howes. This transition's been a little bit better. Steele kicks into the middle, but it's intercepted by Bianco, who's been excellent across that halfback line. Kicked the winning goal in a game for Collingwood against Richmond last year. Doing his best work in defence today, though. And in the midfield, Bianco's kick towards Kruger. Flies high, couldn't take the mark. Wilson, can it be another snap goal? Unguarded square, bounces through. The Magpie Army are alight. Wilson kicks his second. Mitch White, a crucial kick to keep the Demons alive. Left footer on the way, sneaks home. There's still a pulse, a beating for the Casey Demons. That's true, his second. True to White. Mark taken by Howes, leading possession winner on the ground, chips it short to Laurie. Transfers play towards centre wing, Steele. They've got the overlap runners here and they're running in wave. Steele with a long kick, looks for Melksham, he's against two. Can he stand up and take the mark? Oh, is it going to be paid? Yes. Jake Melksham, 42 metres out, deliberate approach. Kick on the way, is true for Casey. And it's a 13-point margin, Melksham stepping up to the plate. It's interesting, is that almost 100 metres basically into the middle of the ground? I suppose you've got to take into consideration the distance as the siren sounds at Casey Fields. A monumental victory for Collingwood. That could be a fire starter as we head into the second half of the season. The Magpies with an upset victory over Casey, 11 7 73 to the Demons, 8 11 59. And that would give a great amount of confidence to the black and white army on this King's birthday weekend. It certainly will. It's a really important result.